when we found out was the book that was, he had been reading there, the last book he read was The Shroud of Turin, Italy. But always his favorite book and the book he read more than any other book. He always had one beside him in every bed he slept in, whether it was a motel room, a hotel room, or his home. He had the Bible. The Bible was Elvis's favorite book. You were with him in the good times and the bad times. And as his closest friend, Charlie, please uh, take time and tell us about the end. There were all kind of rumors after Elvis' uh, death. There was, you know, fantastic stories. And most of them, just rumors and nothing more. There's no truth to it. They discovered during the autopsy that the right side of Elvis's heart was twice as big as the left side and that he had ha already had three heart attacks already and didn't even know it. And of course, he had a bad liver, just like his mother did, and they were trying to fix that. And he had always had a trouble with high blood pressure, and his mother had that. Same thing. And also he had glaucoma, and he had to take uh, medicine for that. And one night, one day, it was, I was over visiting Mr. Presley at his house, and Elvis' his friend, Dr. McCopolis, came over and told us something that kind of cleared up a lot of things we'd thought about of why Elvis was always so sore and everything. And Dr. Nick told this to Mr. Presley, and he looked at me and said, Charlie, this is in strictest confidence. And we didn't mention it to anybody. I didn't mention it myself to anyone until after Mr. Presley had died and then I put it in my book. And what they discovered was that Elvis had bone cancer and it had spread over his entire body. So that kind of explained stretching and wanting the body up. He was hurting and there was pain from that and he didn't even know what it was and we didn't either. I don't know the answers about life and death. I do know Elvis had faith in God, and it never wavered. All I can tell you is that a bright, vibrant light, an exceptional soul, walked over with me one night. I traveled around the world with him. I was privileged to share some of his most private moments, and I witnessed his unequal generosity. Watched him give him himself to everyone. And I saw the impact he made on the whole world. We're all just a little bit better for his having been here. Leave me, I'm in 